<laughs> Hello, movie lovers, and welcome to CML Theater Movie Review, home of independent films. And man, listen, if you into vampires, you into zombies, you into demons, you into, like, schizophrenia and psychos, then you just came to the right party. Patient 7. <laughs> Heaven. It's like, no, just Patient 7. Guys... This is was one this was one wild movie, okay. The start for starters, because I've never seen a movie with so many different entities and, and human in one segment. But the movie was I like the way they did things. I thought it was pretty cool. I really can't reveal a lot because there's a lot of different stories to this movie. So more like an anthology, just like one of the last um not the last review I did, but one like the witching. You know, if you enjoy the witching and you enjoy you know, movies that just have multiple storytelling in it, then this is your movie. The movie was directed by multiple directors. The movie is, um, the story is based around um, Dr. Daniel. He's, he's this doctor that wants to, you know, figure out certain, find out why certain patients are there at the same asylum. So what he do is that he picked out seven, well, no, six patients. He, he picked out six patients. He brought them into the room. And then he got the, you know, got to talk to them and trying to get them open. You know, one girl would not talk because she just don't talk. One other guy is just, he just freaks me the fuck out. And I'm talking about that number six guy. Mm -hmm, he just yeah. so, he just so, oh man, he just freaked me out. The one guy is just, is, is completely scared out of his mind. And, and the, like I said, the stories was pretty good. I, I hate when I do reviews like this because I don't want to spoil it. I want y'all to see it. And then I want you to tell me what you think about it. Because this movie is crazy. <laughs> <laughs> it's so insane. It drives me insane just watching the shit. <laughs> but before I get any further than this, let me, let me, the movie was directed by Danny Draven, Paul Davis, Omar O. Huxon, um, Hu Huison, um, Dean Huison, Joe M Magani, Magain, Morgan, sorry, sorry, Joe, Joe Morgan, uh, Joe Ames, Joe Ames Pearson, Nicholas Peterson, um, Erlin, Erlinger, uh, Thorodin, Thorodinson, I'm sorry, man, y'all names. <laughs> <laughs> Rasmus Westberg. Yeah, that was all the directors. That was all the directors. Cause there is a lot of directors. Because like I said, this story, it has multiple stories to it. So the first story was a demon type of story. And the other stories, which is I'm not going to say anything. I think I didn't say enough on that note. But if I have one favorite character out of all the stories. <laughs> my favorite one was the girl was, where's my bloody fucking shovel? <laughs> and she just kept saying it. Oh my God. I did, I did, this movie was something different, but the movie was an hour and then 55 minutes. Not far from two hours. Maybe about five shades from two hours. <laughs> and I'm telling y'all, when you watch this movie, make sure that you go into this movie. Don't have no plans, okay? Don't don't plan to go out on a date and shit. And you're trying to rush the movie hoping that it'd be an hour and, and 19 minutes. Because that shit ain't happening. You got to sit and ride this whole ride. You got to get on that roller coaster and go all the way down to hell. And drive all the way the fuck back out of hell. But before I get further than that, let's get this movie a rating, shall we? I give this movie a big ass smiley face. Oh, yeah. And before I get up out of here, I'd like to also give a shout out to all the writers because they deserve, you know, props for that. I mean, they did a really good job. At least the acting in this movie was pretty decent, too. I'm glad it just wasn't one of those movies where you you notice that they're trying to act, but you, you just ain't buying it. But in this movie, it did pretty good. Even the kids that was in this movie did pretty good. And they, they had a couple freaky scenes. I mean, it didn't scare me. But it also made me, you know, I had that WTF bubble sitting over the top of my head a couple mm -hmm. times. But um, I'd like to give a shout out to Paul Davis, Sam Dixon, Richard Faulkner, um, Paul Fletcher, Omar Um Huxon, J.C. Heldrich, Dean Hewson, um, Barry J., Brian McAuley, Joe Morgan, Johannes Pearsons. Nicholas Peterson, David Steenhook, 
um, Adele, Adele Walker and Ramis Westberg. They did a really good job. You guys, I really enjoyed this movie. I thought it was excellent. I thought it was great. Um, hopefully you guys will like it too. Like I said, this, this movie had like each patient that comes in because they got to tell the doc, Dr. Daniel. He's, he's recording them too. So he's basically trying to figure out why they're there. And he's also a writer because he wrote a book on on stuff and psychology and stuff like that. So he wanted to get in their head to find out what the hell's going on. So when they tell him a story, it seems like every time they tell him a story, he calls them out for, for the shit like they really are. But then the movie turns around and do a twist at the end, which I did not see that coming. I did not mm -hmm. see mm -hmm. that shit coming by a long way. I'm trying to tell y'all, check this movie out. Uh, Patient 7, I thought it was awesome. Check it out. Don't forget to hit that like button. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And don't forget to leave a comment. Let me know what you think about Patient 7 because I told you what I thought about it. It got my fair rate and I, I thought it was a pretty good movie. And like I said, all the stories was awesome as well. Good rating. I enjoyed it. You can watch this movie. You can check it out on Amazon. You can rent it. You can buy it. It's a good movie. I'm not going to steal you wrong. It's a good movie. Even though some people still might give me shit for it. And I might give it one dislike, as usual. <laughs> <laughs> but listen, guys. By the end of the day, this is an independent film. This is not like no super duper big high budget fucking <laughs> $1 billion movie. But the movie was really good. I really enjoyed it. And if you love independent films, I know you will enjoy it too. And to all my movie lovers, I love you.